Hi guys! It's Yen here, your YouTube Community Health Nurse. If bago ka dito, welcome sa ating channel. If dati ka na dito, welcome ulit sa ating channel at magandang araw sa iyo. So, welcome to another episode of The Health Vlog. So, in today's episode, ang pag-uusapan natin ay yung kumakalat na may airborne virus daw na outbreak sa Pilipinas. Totoo nga ba to? If gusto mong malaman, stay tuned! Ito nga yung mga nakasaad sa clips. May isang um, anak daw ng isang certain attorney na asawa ng... ...patay uh, daw due to pneumonia and there's two other people na kakilala daw niya na na-admit din with pneumonia. And then halos daw lahat ng hospital sa... Ka Metro Manila. Tama ba? Metro Manila ay puno daw ng mga pasyente na with pneumonia. So... Actually, may ibang tao na nababahala at nag-worry guys sa kung totoo nga ba itong chismis. So, of course, kailangan natin i-verify ang ating nasagap na balita bago natin ito i-vlog. So, ayun na nga. So, what I did, of course, chinek ko sa Department of Health website to check kung may advisory ba tungkol doon. At wala akong nakita. And then, I went on to the several news. Yes, the BNGMA, yun na nga, may nakita akong um, interview with Mr. Eric Domingo, the Undersecretary of the Depart Department of Health, and he confirmed and clarify mga kahigalaan, mga kaibigan, hindi daw totoo yung news na may airborne virus outbreak sa Pilipinas. So, yung mga kumakalat na news is isa po siyang malaking char. Okay, isa siyang malaking char. Isa po siyang fake news na naman, guys. So, what is Hindi char or what is check? Okay, what is check is, oo, totoo na there is a lot of incidents ng mga trangkaso or flu. Kasi bakit? June to November or even sometimes it extends to January is known as the the cold months of... Ibig sabihin, uso na naman yung ubo, sip on, flu, trangkaso. So, hindi na siya bago, guys. At saka yung airborne na, na virus... Hindi na siya bago, okay? Panahon pa ni kupong kupong, nandyan na yung airborne virus, guys. So, ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin ng airborne? Ang airborne, guys, ay ito po yung mga, mga sakit na nakukuha mo sa hangin, sa maruming hangin. But like, for example, may infected na tao with pneumonia, tuberculosis, chicken pox, measles. Pag umubo ito, okay? Pag nagsasak... Kahit malayo ka, guys, okay? Kahit more than one meter or one feet... Pag naihalo po itong virus sa hangin or sa dust at pag na-inhale mo to at dumapo sa iyo, may tendency ka na mahawaan ka ng mga airborne viruses na ito. So okay? Klaro. So yung airborne viruses din, isa po siyang malaking char guys kasi matagal na po siyang uh, inexistent. Okay? So ayun, para sa ating guys. Okay. Mr. Eric Domingo and even the Philippine um, Society of Microbiology and Infectious Diseases uh, nagbabala po sa ating mga publiko to practice good hygiene kasi even if your flu or your trangkaso is a very simple na nasakit at madaling malunasan yung komplikasyon na nakaakibat nito kagaya ng pneumonia is maari po siyang ikamatay so hindi na so ano nga ba yung trangkaso or flu sa ingles so ang ang trangkaso guys is a very common uh, uh, sakit sa Pilipinas at it's very contagious at lubhang nakakahawa ibig sabihin and isa po siyang um, uri ng infection sa iyong upper respiratory tract, uh, which includes your ilong, your throat, or yung lalamunan mo, at saka yung baga. Actually, yung baga mo is hindi na siya upper respiratory tract, but it's part of the respiratory tract. Okay, so, the virus, uh, ang pangalan po niya is influenza. Siya, so, siya po yung causative agent ng ating trangkaso. Lalo na yung mga bata nag iidad um, 12 years old below or lalo na yung mga bagong panganak at saka yung mga senior citizens natin guys yung, from 65 years old and above sila po yung mga tao na madaling mahawaan nito at saka yung mga pasyente na immunocompromised yung mga may cancer na pasyente may mga leukemia, may mga sakit na HIV yun yung mga tao na immunocompromised so madali po silang mahawaan ng flu or trangkaso ayun, so um Anong-ano nga ba yung mga sintomas ng ating flu? So, ang mga sintomas ng, ng flu, is usually lumalabas siya 1 to 2 days after ikaw mahawaan ng, uh, ng virus or so, unang-una, magkakaroon ka ng lagnat. So, you will usually have very high fever, some degrees Celsius. 
Oh, and then next is uh, you will have uh, panlalamig sa katawan or chills. Nagkakaroon ka ng chills. And then, um, masakit yung kasakasakal mo. Masakit mo, body aches. Masakit na lang uh, lahat ng katawan mo. Ayun. And then usually may ubo ka, may sipon, nakaakibat. And then of course, you will have your uh, uh, black nose. Yung barado yung ilong mo, clog yung nose mo. And then you'll have headache. And then sometimes may matang um, nagsusuka. And it's very common as well sa mga kabataan, may may diarrhea yung mga usual this happens uh, sa mga bata and then um, hydration as well okay and then so pa and yun yung mga sintomas ng ating flu but you have to be very careful you have to to check if it's uh, only flu guys okay, yung sintomas na ma, na ito is pareho din ng sintomas ng inyong dengue at saka typhoid fever so you have to check with your doctor if if Ordinaryo lang ba natang kaso or flu meron ka? Kasi malay mo, dengue na pala. Kasi pareho lang po yung sintomas nila, guys. So, you have to make sure and clarify things. So, bago ka mag-self-medicate, kaklaruhin ko, hindi po maganda basta-basta na lang mag-self-medicate, guys. So, so, paano mo makukuha ang flu or tangkaso? So, makukuha mo ito, guys, sa paglanghap or through airborne or drop ng virus na sa infected na pasyente or tao. So, pag na-inhale mo to, when they cough, sneeze, or talk. Ganyan, makukuha mo. At saka direct contact sa tao mismo may sakit. So, if nakipagyakapang ka, nakipagbeso-beso ka sa tao may sakit. So, may, there's a big tendency na mahawa ka. And another thing, if when they cough or sneeze, pag yung virus na yun nag-land doon sa telepono, sa cellphone, sa keyboard ng ano laptop mo, or sa doorknob, if nakigamit ka ng kutsara, tinidor, plato, at or the myth ng taong may sakit na yon is there is a big tendency na mahawaan ka. Uh, yung virus kasi na ito is self-limiting. So kahit wala kang itake na nagamot, after 7 to 10, 10 days, mawawala po siya kasi self-limiting yung virus. So there's no point if you will take antibiotic kasi viral yung, yung ano, um, causative agent ng inyong flow or yung trangkaso mo guys. So... Antibiotic is for uh, bacteria, hindi po for virus. So, wala siyang effect, okay? Yung approach ng treatment natin dyan is also fever. So, ilalagay ko dito ang ibig sabihin ng um, acronym ng fever ko, guys. So, first is uh, fluid replacement. Kasi, uh, if you are going to have like high fever, of course, body dehydrate ka. Kasi sa sobrang init ng katawan mo. So, you need loads of fluid replacement. So, you take a lot of fluids, a lot of... During this time na uh, may trangkaso ka. And then next, E, E, stands for easy to digest food. So, lalong lalo na pag may trangkaso ka, wala ka rin ganang kumain, di ba? Wala kang ganang kumain. And then, um, this is, uh, matagal na itong... Uh, gamot ng mga nanay, or even some doctors will advise you this, you take, like, or you eat arroz caldo sa atin or chicken soup. So, ayun. So, mas... I would suggest na you do your own chicken soup na, kasi mas healthy siya guys. Walang masyadong preservatives kaysa you buy the ready-made chicken soup sa mga groceries natin. So, uh, the recipe in my description box if you wanted to know my recipe for the chicken soup. Siyang easy to digest food lang. And then V is stands for vitamin C or you eat like fruits and vegetables which is full of like vitamins kasi Um, especially vitamin C or vitamins with ascorbic acid. Because this fight, um, bacteria and viral infection, guys. And then, E is eliminate the source of infection. So, alam naman natin na uh, um, airborne yung, um, sa airborne mo ito makukuha or if na, uh, or nakahawak ka ng mga gamit na may virus, gato ganyan. So, you do house cleaning sa bahay, guys. So, try to avoid that. And then, Bawa, huwag ka munang pumunta sa mga crowded na lugar or if may somebody sa opisina nyo, kaklase nyo or um, sa bahay nyo, if may sakit na trangkaso uh, lumayo ka muna para hindi ka mahawaan because I have said, as I have said, it's very contagious and then R is take a lot of rest and sleep as well so you take as much like rest and sleep okay, so Same inhalation na lang guys. So, magpakulo kayo ng tubig na 1 to 2 liters. And then, pagkakulo, ibuhos nyo siya sa isang plastic tub palanggan or any palanggana na kagaya nito. And then, uh, patakan mo siya ng essential oils if meron ka kagaya nitong, ayan, na uh, eucalyptus. And what to do that is more than enough guys. Eucalyptus is, um, matagal na po siyang, ano, buhos ipon at saka sa mga baradong ilong po guys. 
Or, if you have Vicks Vape Rub, pwede mo rin siyang lagyan ng konting Vicks Vape Rub. Kasi yung Vicks Vape Rub is may apat po siya na ingredients. Which, uh, which has like all your uh, symptoms ng black nose, yung sipon, at saka ubo. Kasi it has eucalyptus din, at saka camphor uh, oil. So, yun, but like, um, like any ordinary medicine, I would suggest na make sure you are not allergic to these um, essential oils. At even Vicks Vape Rub. Bago ka, uh, um, sa mainit na tubig. Otherwise, plain tubig alone will do, guys. So, after that, kumuha ka ng toalya or any cloth na pwede mong gamitin na pang talokbong. Kagaya nito. Charan. Kagaya nito, guys. Ganyan. So, italakbong, talokbong mo siya and then, umupo ka sa, sa mesa kung saan mo nilapag yung ito, yung palanggana mo, and then make sure you are like 8 to 12 inches away sa iyong palanggana, at palamigin nyo muna siya ng mga ano ba yung mukha ko? <laughs> ng mga at least 10 minutes na hindi na siya ganun kainit guys, kasi i-avoid natin na hindi naman masunod yung mukha mo sa steam, so make sure na inap lang po yung tubig, at saka make sure na may steam pa po siya, at hindi siya ganun kalamig. So, you sit in front of the bowl, mga uh, as I've said, 8 to 12 inches and then magtalokbong ka, ganyan okay? alright, so after magtalokbong ka so how to do your steam inhalation properly the, so paano nga ba gagawin to? so when you are doing your steam inhalation okay, so you think that you are smelling a nice fresh flowers guys, so you do like this so smell the flowers and then blow the candles through your mouth, okay? So, you have, and then you relax your body. And then you repeat this at least uh, three to five times. And then for for five minutes, and you can do steam inhalation three to four times a day, guys. And then make sure may katabi ka na tissue paper. Ayan, kasi I swear na after mo gawin tong steam inhalation, immediately you will have a relief from a black nose, guys. So, kailangan mo to kasi obviously yung sipon mo, yung uhog mo, tutulo na siya, guys. So, ag so do what I said, uh, kung ano yung sinabi ko sa inyo, uh, sinabi ko, do what I said. Okay? And then, relax. So, ulitin ko. Smell the flowers. Blow the candles. Alright. So, do that several times and then for 5 minutes and then you can do this procedure 3 to 4 times a day para ma-relieve ang iyong symptoms or yung black nose. But still, if patuloy pa rin yung pag-uubo mo tuwing, sa gabi na pag natutulog ka, I would suggest kumuha ka ng unan, lagay mo sa likod at elevate mo yung ulo mo ng konti at uh, pag natulog ka, medyo nakasandal ng ganyan, ganyan, para matigil ang iyong pag-uubo. Alright? And then, hot lemon tea drink as well guys or even yan pong palagi namin iniinom dito sa bahay hot lemon tea ginger ganun or salabat that will do that will be enough more than enough if my, um, my lemon ka or wala kang lemon calamansi will do alright so ano ba if available ka na paracetamol kasi as much as possible we will try to avoid na mag-reach ng more than 38 degrees ang ating temperature kasi ang winawarin natin baka magkakaroon ng convulsion Okay, so, mag-take ng parastamol, marami pong over-the-counter, and make sure hindi ka allergic din dito. And, parastamol lang at, uh, for adults, uh, every 4 four hours, okay? And then, for the kids, especially uh, 12 years old below, syrup will do every 4 hours as well. Basahin nyo lang yung nakaakibat or nakalakip na the drug literature or yung leaflet na nasa loob ng box ng syrup kung yung exact dosage, guys. I would suggest na Kahit sa mga bata, wag magbigay ng aspirin to avoid the, the reyes like syndrome kasi ito. So, ano po ang dapat nating gawin para hindi po tayo mahawaan ng flu or trangkaso? Unang-una is, make sure you have a balanced diet. So, kailangan may fruits and vegetables tayo, meat, kailangan may fish at saka chicken din sa ating diet. Second is, you practice good hygiene. Third is, do hand washing, very important. And then, fourth is you do exercise. Number five is make sure you are having enough rest and sleep. And if as much as possible, you can take um, some vitamins, especially vitamin C and or uh, yung mga multivitamins, guys. At 
yung secondary precautions natin is make sure nagpapa flu vaccine ka every year. So, kailangan mong magpa flu, flu vaccine bago mag-start ang ating flu season which is from June each year. So, kailangan two months before that. So, around April, pumunta ka na sa mga clinic or sa mga um, health centers or sa mga outpatients sa ating mga public hospitals. So, I guess that's it for now sa ating vlog for today. Sana may natutunan naman kayo uli galing sa iyong Mayora. If you do like this video, please thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Press the notification bell para notified ka pag may bagong upload ako. At pakishare na rin guys para may share natin yung ating kaalaman tungkol sa tangkaso kung paano maiwasan yung gamot at saka mga home remedy na pwede mong gawin sa bahay. And I hope to see you in my next. Have a lovely day. Bye! Have a healthy 2019, everyone!